Tobert from Sound of Joy Music Services and we're now going to give you some more warm-up lessons that we use on Sunday mornings uh, to sort of get ourselves prepared uh, to minister in music. We're going to first go to the key of C and work on our scales and our chords and our runs in a little warm-up exercise we call morning practice. Okay, here we are, morning practice in the key of C. Now, I'm unconventional in how I practice my scales. Uh, everyone, of course, teaches me to play the... But, of course, I've been doing this for so long, it becomes natural for me to just... So I do what I call my own version of morning scales, where I'll just run... Just basically go through all of the um, go all the scales chromatically as fast as I can. That's just again, this is just warm up. If I was just normal practice would just be for, for for accuracy, I would slow it down. Paying attention to all the fingering. Missed one. back to C. Now generally I don't talk during this because I, I missed a couple of them but the idea is to get the fingers limbered up and of course get my ears used to hearing all the keys. Now the same thing holds uh, for you musicians who are wondering for the left hand. Let's just shoot and adjust our camera here. Here we go. But the idea is to get both hands limbered up and free, freely moving. Now, as I continue, rather than have both hands doing, I do chromatic runs. This is to build timing in both hands or syncopation. morning warm-up, a little more advanced than what I've done in the past. Um, stretching. Always want to keep your fingers stretched so that when you want to do those long chords, so you don't have that stretch if you're doing a C from an E. No pain, fingers are free in the middle. Same with the left hand. You want to do this long chord. That's a stretch. It hurts, but the idea is to get the fingers as loose and the joints as free as possible. So when you so when that run inspiration comes. Your hands are ready to respond to what you're your eyes are or your, your head is saying. Okay, you're wondering about the runs. That's all from doing a scale. Okay, that's Sunday morning stuff. Okay, so now the, the chording part that I do is basically I start off with your triad chords and then I invert seven chords. 
I see him skin stretching. There's no real rhyme or reason. It's just a matter of circling a certain chordal melody out, and I'll put it that sense. Versus the regular melody, I'll have a chord memory. reason, just an idea of getting chords basically out of my head that I hear. Once the left hand comes in there, chimes in to sort of give it a little more foundation. Now, of course, I never stay to one key. I mean, the key is C now, but if, I, if I'm thinking B, B natural... should be as natural as playing in C. Practicing the scales and practicing all the chords will do for you. You won't be uncomfortable if you're going down to A. It's just a matter of knowing where your notes are. What chords are in that key? What the inversions you have? And what your chord patterns are?